Prime Minister, why were contracts awarded to Carillion despite the warnings? We would get an answer to that today for the first time from the Prime Minister. But before that, Labour accused the government of failing to raise the alarm about the company's imminent collapse. It looks like the government was handing Carillion public contracts either to keep the company afloat, which clearly hasn't worked, or it was just deeply negligent of the crisis that was coming down the line. But the Prime Minister said the government had acted correctly and they had never been in charge of Carillion. The right honourable gentleman said earlier in one of his questions it was the government's job to ensure that Carillion was properly managed. We were a customer of Carillion, not the manager of Carillion. And that's a very important difference. And it is also important, it's also important that we have protected taxpayers from an unacceptable bailout of a private company. There's been particular concern about two contracts for the HS2 rail link worth more than a billion pounds and signed in July, just days after Carillion had issued a profits warning. So wasn't that reckless by the government? There was no direct contract. There is no direct contract with Carillion. It's with a consortium of businesses who are jointly and severally liable for delivering the work. And that work's carrying on. As we sit here today, that work is carrying on. But smoothing this out involves private sector companies who had deals with Carillion. This painting and decorating business has just had to lay off eight people and the boss thinks the government is not off the hook. It's clear that the government do not carry out due diligence in their procurement of their supply chains because it's a company that six months ago had a billion pound worth X amount of billions and then there's a profit warning and then there are one and a half billion pound black hole that's very quick movement for six months. It clearly has not taken six months to lose that much money. The government says more than 90% of private customers do want to keep paying for the services originally contracted through Carillion. That sounds like one bit of good news where a lot of work is still needed.